Hello and welcome back to our Majapahit campaign where we moved our trade port into Malacca. Okay. One of the people in. Uh, it was Count Christo. Yeah, just name drop him anyway. Um, was complaining that I was pronouncing Malacca wrong. Don't really give a fuck though, to be honest. I'm going to just continue calling it Malacca. One of the people. Yes, one of, one of the. One of the plebs. One of the plebs. Um, 4.4, I could actually get that, uh, cord. Oh, first things first, right? Don't know how this happened, I'm gonna blame the game. But we have a trader in, uh, Irrawaddy transferring trade to Bengal. Bengal, you're welcome, but you can go fuck yourself. So let's go and transfer trade here with the Irrawaddy dude. I want you to transfer the trade power there. So perhaps our trading income will be, uh, a bit higher now. Let's, let's see... Let's see, what we made was 1002. It's gonna be a little bit higher. I don't know how much higher, but it's gonna be a little bit. But let's let's find out how much. Come on, come on, come on, come on, there we go. 1184, yes, I made like, what? 1.8 ducats or something from that. Which is, is better than nothing, so, um, 1681 ducats a month is quite nice. All of my vassals, even though they're transferring trade to me, they love the shit out of me because, you know, I'm I'm the best. Clearly. Um Judgment of the chair whatever, go away. I at Thaya, you seem to have been fucked over quite heavily. Your tributary state of Hantawadi, which is this douche. So if I was to go to war with them, I would have to fight Alright, Thaya, Hantawadi, and Sukhothai? Ah, oh, these dudes. But hey, at least I can fucking see them this time. So if I go to war with them again, I'm not gonna get like stack wiped like 12 times. Which, funnily enough, helps. Not being stack wiped is a good thing. You're only transferring 0 0.03 from the Zhonglong Basin. Mm, so maybe this is not actually the best place for it. Maybe Indochina to Malacca would be better. Considering I own a single province there. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you're transferring to South China Sea. Should I just like... Mm, I don't know. There's a shit ton of money here. So maybe I'll go like that, and then my boats... Right, we're, we're still on the trade train, right? So, 1134. You protect the trade in South China Sea. Right, we're still on the trade train. We want this to go way higher. We have to wait another month just to so everything settles out and my boats are actually doing something for more than three days but it was 11 like 64 or something let's see what it is also my boats being here there will transfer the trade power up here as well like trade propagation or some shit so 1219 that's more it's it's a tiny bit more which means it's more so that's good I won't even pronounce it right for a sub and a host. Yeah, you're damn right I won't. Malacca. Malacca. Um, when can I build another university? Was it 300 and something, or wasn't it? 349. All right. So we're waiting for 349 ducats. 85%. Uh, okay, so we can, we can wait for just a moment before that. Oh, you know what I can do, though? Mm -mm -mm. Hey, dudettes. Give me your money. Uh, whatever, applying, I don't give a fuck. So, I'm making how much now? Vassal's 1.54 ducats. It, so that went up like 60.6 ducats. And our core level went down again? What? There, now I have fucking half a fucking thing. Oh, you've just gone over. Eh, you bastards. 
Alright, Aru, improve relations, and Bone, you don't have any debt, so Bone, improve relations. I can't marry them because they're in different religious groups, unfortunately. Ah well, they're still transferring their trade to me, so whatever. Religious riots, don't like that. Uh, I don't like that either. Yeah, that's fine. All right, go back to religion. Katai is Islamic. That's annoying. When can I integrate some of these douche nuggets? Six years or so. Fourteen years. Uh, if I stop taking your trade power, Pasai. Uh, disable divert trade should be able to do this because your liberty desire will be low enough or should be low enough perhaps it'll take I've disabled the trade give me your give me your loyalty you bastard why is your loyalty not gone down Aru is now 82 what how did that fucking happen what changed I guess they maybe they took diplotech God. Alright, you disable the divert trade. There. There. I want people to be happy with me. I don't wanna I don't wanna give you fucking thing though. Persecuting our faith. Oh that might be it. Yeah, that that's definitely definitely the problem. It was a fucking it was a it was an event. You can't blame me. Tolerant is good, yes. I, I will. I have been going tolerant. It's just, I had an event, and one of the events was a little bit better than the other event. So I went with the, the good event, and I guess that wasn't the correct choice. So, Pasai, you hate me persecuting the faith. Yeah. Fuck you, dudes. How long until that goes away? Plus 5.4 yearly, so it's like t fair, fair amount of years. Eh. Bollocks. Alright, and you're about to rebel, so raise maintenance quickly. And I'm thinking actually move my dudes out of here. Because if they pop, they're going to stack wipe me. Eh, don't pop, don't pop, don't pop. Oh, they popped. Shit, shit, shit. Go back! Go back! Bring a dude! Bring a dude and go back! Shit! Run away! Can I run away? 14th of May. Oh, don't get stuck wiped. Oh, I did. I did run away. Good. I guess you can wait here then. Alright, that was almost... That was almost fucked. But we're fine. Alright, that's probably enough. You're running away, that's fine. I've got the manpower to cover, it's... No big deal. Yeah, you're dead. Get fucked. Go away. And now, core you, because you just had a recent uprising. You're at 11, so there's nothing we can do there. 30 Diplo, or make Keda happy with me. I'll make Keda happy with me. And I will re-lower the maintenance, just to half this time. 319... Yeah, whatever. So you get one at 369. Okay. I'm sorry, Arwan. It's it's not my fault. I had an event. And yes, university, as soon as we have 369, we shall be building one in Padang. Unless somebody has a problem with the way I pronounce Padang. I mean, you can sort that amongst yourselves, you know? Um, threatening countries. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. One of them's got to be Ming. Joseon, Ming, and Delhi. Yeah, that's fair enough. Whatever. Just just convert people. Lahat. I thought Lahat was already Hindu. I guess not. Local university in Malacca. 
one, two months, two months, and we can get that there. Just making a lot of investiture into, um, yeah, in, into our economy, into our nation. We'll get more urbanized, more centralized, more developed. It's going to be good. There we go. Lovely. Uh, you can stay there. Oh, we've got Sunni fanatics and Perungians in Padang. Okay, so I guess raise my maintenance back again. And you can come down here because they're apparently going to pop here. But there's a, there's a fort there, so that's good. I would like them to pop there. As long as the Sunni fanatics... Yeah, they won't pop here. There's no unrest there. There's no unrest there. Yeah, I don't need to be up there. Parungoyans, Mingpao, I think that's down here. All right, they didn't lose their caste system means more money. Okay, uh, I didn't know that, so I guess we will be going more loose caste system in the future then. I just saw plus one stability, and I'm like, stability's cool, I like stability. This this keeps flip-flopping up and... Oh no, it's education fair, nice! Education went up, I'm pretty sure it went up. Hell yeah, education is awesome. That's got to be those um, universities, right? Truly, we are a cultured peoples. Alright, there's a revolt. That's going to be an easy one to put down. Because you stupidly rose up in a jungle fort. Like a fool. And there's a new one in... God damn it, I should have waited. Alright, you're dead. Can we get there in time? 9th of April? Nah, no way. So you're going to siege this, and... Hopefully you don't destroy anything. I don't think they destroyed anything. Let's go murder the freaking bastards anyway. Is that the only place they rose up? Looks like it. Lost the effects of plentiful manpower, whatever. Province is now part of my patrimony, very nice. Right, you can stay there. Palembang separatists, not an issue right now. Maintenance at half. Mandolings is now going to get cored, very nice. Get rid of the general so he doesn't die. And what else? Hmm. Execute the leaders, but show mercy, I think. Will I drop naval for a better idea once I get exploration? Hell yes. Hell yes. Fuck this idea group. Alright, that's a bit more uh, in the economic idea tree. I'm going to go behind on admin tech. I, I don't really mind that so much. I just want to get these uh, economic ideas filled out so I can start losing some inflation. I feel that's quite important. I think at some point I would like to build some shipwrights because getting some uh, more ships would be quite nice. If I like had 40 naval force limit, or 40 um, boats, that'd be really cool. I could feasibly lower the amount of these ships that I have. Like, maybe sell all of the lesser ships, like the merchant junks, and just keep the junks. And then build some more. I mean, at the moment, I don't really need the boats. I mean, I guess I mean, there's a lot of islands that I will eventually hope to. Mm, should my trade capital get some capital buildings? Yes, that is a good idea. Um, are you talking about bureaucratic options? Because that's 1,500 ducats, and I definitely cannot afford that right now. Or are you talking about like city halls and merchant guilds and shit? Because I also can't afford wealth into the this city. I think. Let's take that. Why not? 
artillery fire and uh, infantry fire. It seems quite nice. Send missionaries for subjects. Yeah, I'm going to do that again. It seems equal. 9,000 manpower. Very nice. I'm enjoying this, this boon of manpower. But yeah, we will be investing into Malika. We'll be investing into pretty much everything. It's just going to take a while. At some point, we're going to make a lot of money. And at that point, yeah, we're going to be happy. Lesser nobles are still pissed off at me. Um, let's offer you another inflation. Let's offer you... Four corruption, really? I mean, it is coming down. Yeah, I'm going to give you some corruption. In return for surf conditions, and you will give me expansion of city citizenship. Boost the populations. Probably the what? What's my um? What's called population data? Urban saturation is only at sixty percent, so there's quite a lot of saturation I can go here. Rural saturation, though, it's because it's a really small province. Um, there's not a whole lot of rural pop that can grow here. But I can definitely, like, my urban pop's growing faster. I just need to encourage it more. So I'm guessing maybe the next investment should be, like, a warehouse in Malacca. Malacca, whatever. I feel like that's probably a good, good investment. Or even like a city hall, because then that would let me get the trade dockland. Or maybe a merchant guild, because it is our trade capital now. If you want some suggestions for future regional capitals, I suggest you go for Ava, Luzon, and Luan Prabang. Oh, Jesus. Okay, let me find these places. Ava. Okay, that works. Yeah, I can see that. Um, next one, Luzon. I think I know who Luzon is. Yes, I, I knew this one. Uh, yes, I agree, this is a good, because it's got that Subic and Manila Bays. And the uh, next one, Luang Prabang. Luang Prabang. I guess that's this. Wangfang. I don't know why you're suggesting this one. I'm, I'm not sure. Was it something else in here? Maybe it was like one of these. Is there any good things? Modifiers? Uh, might be this. Yes, this might be what you're talking about. Uh, when you're choosing them solely for the CE improvement, I highly recommend you place them inland as far away from your capital as possible. Okay. Um, regional capitals, aren't they best off on the coast, though? That's what I always thought. Also, can I integrate these dickheads yet? Eight years still. And you're at what? 22%. Angkor would also be a decent Angkor. Angkor what? Nice timing there, Mr. Lag Spike. Um, you also have a thing, I imagine? Oh, your burgers are disloyal. Fuck you, Khmer. I mean, I guess it's a it's pretty decent location. It's got quite a lot of pop. Capital of Khmer. Come here. Alright, so uh, I actually want to check something first. Ayutthaya. Oh, wow. This is the total army strength of all the countries I know of. I'm fucking fourth, dudes. Let's just ignore Ming. But, uh, Hantawadi is 8,000. Um, Ayutthaya is... Somewhere. It's fine. But that means I could totally just, like, annex a bunch of land here. Couldn't get this, but I could get, I could get Thonby, I could get 
anyone wants to give a give a try at pronouncing that, feel free. I am not going anywhere near that. Um, but yeah, I could totally just like annex a shit ton of their land. Uh, regardless, though, I am going to. Oh, I didn't actually have to build anything. Right, we were going to build something here, weren't we? Um, I've got 360 ducats, a warehouse, or shall I save up for a workshop? Um, I will I will make a decision on that between episodes, because I'm going to take a short break here. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to click the like button. And uh, 